Hey everyone, welcome to Metal Guns and Outdoors. Today we're going to be looking at two 9mm and doing a little verses with them. First up, we have the Sky SCCY CPX2. Good little handguns. Got some nice white dot sights on them. Uh, the dots are a bit on the big side, which I like because I can see them really well. We're going to take this little sky and put it up against the Diamondback DB9. And yes, as you notice, the DB9 is a lot smaller handgun. Uh, it does have some sights, sort of, but not too bad. Uh, the DB9 is single stack. Uh, the magazine holds six. Uh, the sky is a double stack. And I got it to hold 10. So what I like to do is just uh, compare these two pistols. Uh, we'll put a couple of shots through the chronograph. To see if there's any, you know, difference in them. I mean, the barrels. Oh, lordy. The sky might be a, maybe a quarter of an inch longer at the most. So that's going to be interesting. And then we're just going to have a little fun and choose some steel and check the uh, accuracy on these or how accurate I am with them. All right, we're shooting some uh, Pioki 115 grain, this regular full metal jacket. I use a lot of this stuff out at the range. I like it. Well, let's, uh, let's do the sky first. And to get a good average, I'm going to put three on the chronograph with it. Uh, like I say, my, my normal distance, which is roughly, what, 15 feet. Yeah, I'm about 15 feet right here. That's right, so a shot one with the sky. Got a 972. All right, shot two. There's a 1005. And this is what happened. Huh. Then shot three. Nine sixty three. Set that pointed down range. All right, let's grab our little diamond back DB nine and get the same three shots. Got a ten oh four. Ten forty. Ten thirty four. Without even doing the math, even though it's a quarter inch shorter barrel, uh, this would seem to do a little bit better on the chronograph. And I'll tell you, it does have a better trigger. It says there's three more in this one. Let's go ahead on out here and uh, tap us some steam. Alright, we got three shots left in our little diamond bag. Uh, let's say uh, hello to Kenny here. And we miss Kenny. Try again. Ok, 
cannot believe that I missed Kenny. I shot this thing before and done pretty good with it. Well, it took forever, but we hit Kenny. And she is empty. Does not hold up on the last shot. Uh, we have, uh, what, seven in our sky. We'll see if the sky can hit Kenny. And the sky malfunction again. I'm trying to hang up a little bit. That's getting quite aggravating. I finally hit kick. Stretch on out there. Uh, so, now this is a brand new one. I just grabbed it off the shelf. Stop it clean old or anything like that. So maybe that's why we're having a little bit of mishaps with it. Well, the trigger is a lot harder than that diamond back. Let's go ahead out there at 50 feet. hit two of them. Better than nothing. Throw a couple more in our uh, diamond back here. All right, there's six more in our diamond back. Take it out there to the 50 foot mark. Some others. Little up there, big yellow. And that is that. Drop a mag. Yes, sir, she's empty. Drop a mag. Yes, sir, she is empty. Let me show y'all these more or less a side-by-side -side comparison there. Pretty cool looking little old pistols, both of them. I mean, they shoot well. Both of them have their pros and their cons. Uh, let's start with the Sky. Uh, it does feel pretty good in the hand. It's a little on the thick side. A little too glockish for me. Uh, the trigger. The trigger is very, very hard. There's your take up and bang. Yeah, because it is a hammer fired pistol. So it makes it hard. Uh, just because this one gives a couple of issues, I'm not doubting it for that. Because I've shot a lot of these guys and they didn't give me them issues. Uh, the pluses, once you get used to the trigger, this thing's a good straight shooter. And it does have the nice sights. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are Glock fans. So the thickness and the 2x4-ish of the grip seems to suit a lot of people. So there's you, what my opinion is good and bad on the, on the sky. Even though I was surprised a little bit on that chrono test between them. Now, a little diamond back DB9. Yes, it only holds six. You know, it's less than the sky, but the trigger on this thing, that's all free play. You're there at that wall, and bang. does have a nice, nice trigger. The sights, I mean, they're such, I don't even know if y'all can see that. There is two little white dots back there, and a skip of white right there. Sights are very hard to acquire on it. And being smaller, the gun's a little more jumpy. But, I have shot these before. The accuracy is there, and the dependability is there. So, I mean, all in all, it would be hard, really, to choose between the two. But I just wanted to do a good versus, and show y'all that, 
And uh, let y'all make up your own mind as to whichever one suits you. Well, guys, thank y'all so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you would, please throw us down some comments and any questions, suggestions you have. Very happy to hear them. If you're able, hit us up on our Patreon page and show some support there. And guys, if you would, share the video and always hit that like and subscribe. Again, we sure do appreciate it, and I hope everyone has a fantastic day.